10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, abort. All right, all folks, please triage alarms. Copy, total thrust abort. Outside of expected bounds, Raptor. Hey, John Innsbrucker here on the webcast. Uh, you can see with Copy the that. clock on the screen, we were down to uh, zero. We ignited the three Raptor engines. Uh, the ground sequence uh, did declare an abort from the vehicle. We're listening in right now. Uh, we are currently safing the vehicle. We're looking at what the telemetry tells us about the abort. We're at T-minus five minutes to our second launch attempt of the Starship 10 test flight. We counted down earlier today, but the computer stopped the countdown just before liftoff, and the total thrust of the Raptor engine slightly exceeded the allowable limit. The SpaceX team determined the engines are good, and we decided to make another launch attempt. This will be a test flight of Starship to an altitude of 10 kilometers. Our goal is to gather data as the vehicle descends back to the landing pad on how well the flaps work to control the vehicle while it is horizontal. This again is Starship 10, one of a series of test vehicles that we are building to gather this data. QS 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. We have liftoff. All teams, three hours away, please. Take off, suffer. FC2, please prepare for section 35, OSC, FC1, and LVN. T plus 30 seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. up on T plus two minutes. We're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. We'll be shutting one engine off. That's intentional. Three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, now 
to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers, right about in three seconds. Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers, we've gone into the hover, we're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. T plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Coming up on 5 minutes, 45 seconds, we're down below 2 kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. 
The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build, with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11.